Hello, fifth and sixth graders. It's Mrs. Miller here. Happy to see you today. Yesterday, I made a mistake. And you got a little packet that said Tuesday and had some note cards in it. Those note cards are for you to bring God's goodness to someone else. What I want you to do is to think about a person in your life who might need a little pick-me-up. Maybe it's grandma, maybe it's a family friend, maybe it's one of your own friends. Write them a letter just, that just simply says, hey, how are you doing? I'm thinking about you, and I want you to know that God loves you. Get out a pen, address the envelope, get a stamp for mom and dad, and send it on its way to let others know the goodness of God. Our next activity today is going to be painting some saints. Hi, everybody. In just a minute, we are going to get started on our craft for today. Our craft is a painting project, and so what I want you to do before you start is to get a, a paper, a old newspaper or a plastic tablecloth or something that you can put down that'll protect your surface. Um, you don't want to ruin your mom's nice things, so make sure you protect the surface that you're working on. You're going to want to get a smock or wear an old t-shirt. The paint that we're using today does not come out of your clothes, so please don't wear anything special that might get paint on it today. The other thing you're going to need is a cup of water, not a nice cup, get some old junky cup, and a paper towel so you can dry off your paintbrush. You also have the option, if you have more art supplies at home, um, we used acrylic paint, you could add other colors to it, but you have everything that you need in that basket, or in that little bag that we sent home with you. And um, if you have a slightly bigger paintbrush that you want to use to cover the big surfaces with, you can use that. But really, the small paintbrush will will work too. It'll just take a little bit more time. It's, it's actually a pretty nice little brush. So get all those things together, tablecloth, uh, smock, water, paper towel, and we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, today we are going to be painting these little dolls to look like Saints Benedict and Scholastica. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is Think about the paintbrush you're using. First, get on an apron. If you're the, a messy kind of a person, put an apron on. We sent this cute little brush with you um, in a home in your packets, but if, if you wanna paint a little faster and you have a brush more like this one, or bigger, like I, I like to use flathead paintbrushes, but um, if you've got something like this at home, you can get that out too. I'm gonna encourage you anytime that I start going too fast to pause. The good thing about doing this on video is that you can pause and you can rewind as much as you need to. So first we're gonna start with Scholastica. And I'm just gonna use the paintbrush that VBS sent home with you, that little blue one. And I'm gonna get out your white paint, okay? And we are gonna paint on Scholastica's face. We're kind of gonna paint a square in white on her face, okay? This might seem silly now, but it'll make sense later. So we're gonna paint a white square on her face. Something else I forgot to tell you to get out was a cup of water. And don't use your mom's fancy cups, okay? Don't use your mom's fancy cups. Just use your mom's, uh, some other little cup that you find um, and get some water as well. Okay, so we're gonna start with this little square on her face that you can see there, all right? Um, after that, we're going to paint underneath her face a little, I'm gonna call it a bib. I don't know what the technical term for it is. If I was a, a nun, I might know. Uh, but it, part of her, her outfit was this white little bib thing that we are painting right now. Another kind of squarish, sort of square shape thing. It's a little skinnier at the top and a little more fat at the bottom. But um, there you see, we've got the square shape around the face and the little square bib. I've got my water and I've got my paper towel. I'm going to wash that paintbrush out and then I'm going to paint Benedict. Okay. And what we're going to do for paint to paint uh, St. Benedict is we're going to get out our black paint and we are going to paint his whole bottom half, not everything but his head, black. So just paint all the way down. And you don't want the paint to, to be, uh, to have a lot of bumps in it. You want to really smooth the paint out. Otherwise it might not dry so well. So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just painting all the way down with the black paint. And I'm using my bigger brush for this because it goes a little faster. But the small one actually will work 
just fine too. So you can use that small paintbrush to paint St. Benedict um, black as well. That one will work just fine. So you might want to pause the video and paint that black and then start it again in just a second when you're finished. All right. I have my St. Benedict all painted black and now I'm going to go back to St. Scholastica. The important thing right now that you want to consider is that this white paint is dry to the touch. So if you can touch it and look at your finger and there's nothing there, you're ready to go on with the black. What we're going to do with St. Scholastica is paint her whole body black except for that white piece. So we're going to leave that white on there and just paint around it and then paint the rest of the doll black. My kids love to play with these things. They put them in like their race cars or their doll houses and do all sorts of different things because the saints are always with us. Um, we can always call on the saints to pray for us, to God. We can always look to them to inspire us. Um, it's really quite beautiful the life, that we have these saints to look up to, these models of how to live a Christian life. Because it's not always easy, and some of their lives were very hard. Another thing that's really great to remember about the saints is that they were not perfect. Oh my goodness. I think that so often, you know, we think, I could never, ever be a saint. That is too far out of reach. Those people, they just sat around and they prayed all the time. They didn't do anything fun. I like to do fun things. Um, I could never do that. That's so far out of reach. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Saints lived really extraordinary lives. Some of them um, very difficult lives, but they always, always stayed close to God. So um, you can see hopefully what I'm doing here, even on her head, which it gets a little hard to grab. You might even start with the head instead of the body, but it's too late for that. Um, you're going to paint black all around the white. So that looks like her little, her little nun habit there. Um, this will be super, super cute. All right, so there she is, St. Scholastica in her little habit. Okay, you can put her down. And your fingers might get a little messy with this. That's okay. This paint will wash off of your hands, will not wash out of your clothes or your carpet. So be very, very, very careful. Okay, um, so wash your paint brushes out. And now you've got to wait for St. Benedict to dry before we move on to the next step. So once your St. Benedict doll is dry, you can't, you can touch it and no black comes off. Um, you're ready to paint the next part. Um, we're going to, what we're going to do next is his hair. Now, Benedict, you know, was an old guy. He was a monk. And so we're going to give him gray hair, I think, or you can give him white hair. I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to make it gray because I think that'll be more interesting. So I'm going to take a little bit of white paint on my paint lid here is fine a little bit of black paint, and I'm just gonna mix it in. The important thing when you're mixing any color um, with white is that it's just the tiniest bit. So you don't need a whole lot of black paint, just the tiniest bit of black paint will change that for you. Um, and you can always make it darker, but it's super hard to make it lighter again. So keep that in mind. All right, so St. Benedict had, um, he was a man with a beard. So we are going to paint him a, a lovely face with a little beard. So um, let's start with that. I hope that you can see this. I'm giving him a little mustache here. You see his little mustache? And we're gonna give him a big, a big monk-like beard. And that beard's gonna go all the way down onto the black because that's what kind, the kind of beard he had. He had a big, long beard, or so we think. And you can take that beard, like I said, bring it all the way down. This is the kind of beard that your dad probably wishes he could grow. It was awesome. At least I'm talking about my husband. I know he wishes he could grow a beard just like Benedict had. Okay. Then we're going to give him some hair. I'm going to give him like monk hair, I think. I'm just going to paint a line of hair around the top of his head like this. So I, I hope you can see 
that I've got monk hair going across the back and the top of his head. Just kind of like a bald spot on the top of his head. So I'm going to paint his whole head, the back of his head gray. And um, if your paint's getting a little thick, you can always add water to it. I'm going to paint the back of his head gray. I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the beard and the hair because that's where his ear would go, if you can see that. And I'm going to leave his head bald. I think St. Benedict was bald. All right, so there we go. St. Benedict's hair and beard are done. Now, if you want, some people give him a little like patch of hair on the top. Um, you could do that too, just a little bit of hair up there. And if you wanted to, while, you're, while you've got the gray out, you could paint two little eyebrows on there as well. Now remember when you're using a paintbrush, if you, if you press lightly, you're gonna have a nice little line. If you press hard, it's gonna be thicker. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're being gentle if you're trying to make a thin line. All right, moving back to Scholastica. We are gonna paint on her arms. And again, I want you to mix up some gray. This gray is gonna be super helpful on, um, on, to put on top of the black to make the arms and stuff. So you're just gonna mix a little bit of black into some white. And we're gonna paint her arms on. And to paint her arms on, we're just gonna go underneath that white that's on her habit there. Um, and we are gonna paint, uh, St. Scholastica's got a lot of like rectangly kind of squarish, squarish, curvy squares in her, uh, on her. So we're actually, the easiest way to scratch that is just to make kind of a smile looking shape across the bottom of that white part. You see that smile shape there, hopefully. And then we're gonna draw a line down that smile like that, like she's praying. Again, using gentle strokes, we don't wanna to push too hard. And then we're gonna make that smile go back up so it looks like she's got two arms coming down together, like she's praying. Isn't that cute? Okay. All right, we're gonna do the same, a similar thing for St. Benedict as well. We're gonna take our gray paint and we're gonna paint another kind of smile that goes under his beard like this. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna paint a line like his hands are together praying. And we're gonna give him arms like that, okay? Now, St. Benedict and St. Scholastica are often pictured with a staff coming up um, from their arms, like they're holding onto a staff. Maybe that's a walking stick I'm not 100% sure actually what it is, but I like it. So we're going to add a staff. For that, you're going to get out that light brown paint, and you're going to paint. It's kind of like a, a shape like this. It's kind of like a swirly shape, or you could make yours like a candy cane kind of a shape. Um, and it's just going to come from out of their arms. On this side on St. Benedict, I'm going to paint out um, from his arm, and I'm just going to make that little staff and give it a little curly cue like this. That's like his walking, walking stick. Oh, here he goes, flying. Um, so paint his staff. Okay. And we can paint the staff coming back down from the bottom. It looks like he's holding this, this staff. So it goes under his hands and back up over. And we're gonna do the same thing with Scholastica. We're gonna give her one as well. And start with that curly shape or make it candy cane. My brush just acted a little funny, so mine looks not quite like I had thought it would, but it doesn't look bad because it's art, people. There is no wrong way to do this. This is your creation. Um, so you can maybe see how I painted her staff on there as well. The other thing, um, St. Benedict was a monk and his sister, Scholastica, was a nun. Now, St. Benedict uh, joined a monastery that ended up not being what he thought it was gonna be. Um, the monks were not nice people, they weren't very good, he didn't feel like they were following God. So he actually left that group and started his own group. 
And now today, there are Benedictine monks all over the world that follow what we call Benedict's Rule. He wrote a rule book, or a, a really just a, a book about how he thought holy monks should live. And we're gonna paint that book in both of their arms. So we're just gonna put it on the opposite side of the staff. We're gonna paint this blue book, just a triangle um, under on, on top of his arms, like he's holding the book. Okay, he's holding his holy book there. And we're gonna do the same thing with Scholastica. Saint Benedict and Saint, uh, Saint Scholastica were brother and sister. Isn't that exciting? Um, and they like to visit one another um, from time to time. But in Benedict's rule, it said that, you know, he had a curfew, he had to be home at a certain time. And legend has it, and there's her book in her arms, that Saint Benedict and Saint Scholastica were together one night. And his sister, um, they were at her convent, and they were having a really, really good conversation. And St. Scholastica said, don't go home. He, he wanted to go home. And she said, please don't go. We're having such a good conversation. Stay. And she, she prayed. She said, God, send some, something that will make him stay. And as soon as she finished her prayer, God sent a terrible storm. And it kept him there um, through the night so that they could continue their good conversation. So um, it's kind of funny that a, a sister you know, loves her brother so much that she wanted to spend time with him and, and God helped her to spend more time with him. So next we're gonna work on the faces and I'm gonna kinda let you guys be the judge of how you wanna do this. I'm gonna do a simple version and then I'm gonna make my simple version fancy. So I, for Saint Scholastica, if I'm doing it the simple way, I'm just gonna draw two eyes and a cute little mouth like this. Okay, that's the simple way. And you can do the same thing for St. Benedict. Just give him two little eyes like this and a little smile like this. That would be perfect. If you're hoping to be a little more fancy than that, and again, I want to remind you, I can't say it enough, uh, to the pressure that you put on this little blue paintbrush will make all the difference in the world. Maybe you could give Scholastica blue eyes. Okay. Um, so you make them a little bit bigger than just small dots, but again, don't push too hard, be very gentle, all right? Like this, blue eyes. Then you could take your black, get the tiniest bit of black on there and give her some little eyelashes. I like eyelashes, cute little eyelashes. Again, this is a challenge, this is a challenging way to do it. So if you're up for the challenge, you can do that. Um, there's not a whole lot of space there, and you just want to ever so lightly uh, use your paintbrush. You don't want to push too hard or it'll get weird. So there's her little eyelashes, okay? Um, and then you might want to give her a little glow in her eyes. So wash your brush out and um, get some white on it, and you can see her eyes have a little glow. Or you can keep the face simple, like we have on Benedict here as well. If you wanna give them a nose, um, that would be a cute idea too. I would take that light brown color that we used for the, um, for the staff or the rod and just draw a cute little nose on both of their faces. And there they are, their cute little noses. The good news about this paint is that it dries, when, when it dries, you can fix your mistakes. So you can see, I got a little bit of black on her white part right there. If you don't like the way it turns out, you can just paint over it. I'm just gonna fix that up a little bit. You see that, all fixed up. If you have different paints at home that you wanna add some different colors to your, to your, um, to your saints, you certainly can. You can make their book a different color or eyes a different color or however you wanna do it. Um, Another thing for St. Scholastica um, is that little bird. A lot of uh, people like to add, oh, I didn't tell the story of the bird yet. So um, St. Benedict went home back to his monks after that night with his sister. And a few days later, he had a dream of a dove. So let's paint a dove on St. Scholastica here. I'm just painting kind of a, um, like it's a, like a sideways teardrop for the little, this is such a tiny little thing for the little bird's head. Then you can paint an oval for the body, like this. 
and a little tail on the bird like that, kind of a long, a long triangle and a wing. For the wing, I like to go out like that, just one stroke up, then a few more strokes, just a little, like it's flying there. And you can give it a little, little dot for an eye if you want. Um, so anyway, St. Benedict has a vision of this dove and um, he realizes something's wrong with his sister. And again, according to the legend of St. Benedict and St. Scholastica, um, the dream was, was really um, for Benedict to sign that his sister had died. That was the, the dream about the dove. And so they're actually buried together, brother and sister, um, in Italy, I believe, somewhere. Um, I think it's Italy. Don't quote me on that. Um, so anyway, there's St. Scholastica with her little bird. Other times, another cute idea, if you want to remember that storm, that helped her brother stay. Some people like to paint a little rain cloud. And rain clouds are kind of gray, so you can mix up a little bit of gray on there um, and paint a little gray, rain cloud on the side of her, a little bit of gray, some white in the cloud. Um, oh, wow, I used a lot of white there. Um, make a little rain cloud, and then you can mix up some of that blue into a light blue, and you can paint a little rainstorm on there. Uh, again, just use those lids to mix your paint up. Okay, um, so I'm just mixing up a little bit of light blue, white and white and blue here, and I'm just going to paint a little rain, little rain cloud there. Um, ah, to symbolize that storm that happened. And again, because I dropped it there, see, I made that mistake. It's easy to get frustrated, but I'm telling you, don't. Don't let yourself get frustrated because you can just go back and touch it up, okay? Um, so there, the dove's all fixed. We've got the rain cloud. She's got the rule of Benedict um, that she followed as well. Um, and she's looking pretty good. The last thing I'm gonna do to finish up St. Scholastica is I'm gonna put just a little white, tiny white cross on the book so that we can tell that it's a holy book, something that she followed and that is your little Saint Scholastica doll. It's cute, right? I think it's super cute. She's got her dove, she's got her, her cloud. She's ready, ready for a nice visit with her brother. Isn't that nice? All right, to finish up Benedict, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we are just going to um, paint again that little white cross on his uh, book there, like that. And um, I might even, just to be fancy, just paint a little bit of white in his beard to make it look a little more uh, exciting. I don't know, give it a little more dimension or something like that. Um, I'm just adding just a little bit of color because I think it would look nice. You don't have to do this. You, if you're done, you're done, and that's fine. Um, it gives him that salt and pepper look uh, a little bit more. I'm gonna do that on his hair too. Just a little bit of gray, to, a white over the gray, just to make it look like it's actually hair. You know, you're kind of like giving it just a little bit of texture um, around his head. And you water the white down a little bit so it's more like watercolor paint. Um, and there you go. All right, so there we are, St. Benedict and St. Scholastica. They are our saints for Friday tomorrow, so you get a head start at knowing a little bit about them. I hope that you enjoyed this painting project, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks.